Hey y'all, my name is Jesse, and today we're gonna be playing a game called Super Liminal. Um, I don't know much about this game, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscott will make your dreams come true. Interesting commercial. Interesting. Probably not gonna pass in the modern day standards, but considering nobody watches TV anymore. That's what I meant. Okay, so this is pretty basic. Move around, WASD to move. Terms of service. Oh, sh crap, I signed it without reading it. That's whatever. It's probably nothing. Not too big a video, right? This is like a hospital. This doesn't look like a sonosculpt. Perception is reality. Grab. Okay. Almost the oh, Jesus. Okay. That's a... Uh, interesting. Press silence my phone. There we go. And then this chess piece. Just... Just go back there. There we go. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Thanks. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess I'll take that advice. Oh, okay, I see. Hmm. I see. Now I need to bring this with me. <clears throat> there we go. Confirmed. You can move oh freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. Okay. I do not care. Okay. That's fair enough. Asshole. There we go. Hold right click to rotate. Ah, I see. So what do I do with this? Let me just move back, make it bigger. Come on, there we go. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please yeah. complete the remaining orientation activities. Okay. Hans, if I go back here. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Okay. I don't know what that was about, but... Get in there. There we go. Got him. There we go. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what 
I do with this? Do I just... Oh, I see. Now it's on the other side. What is this? Interesting tale. Of an apple. Okay, this is like an infinite, um, infinite wormhole. That's what I need to do. Bam! There we go. Genius. No, I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm a genius. Kind of. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. Thank you. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. The... Uh, this is just bricks. Hello? Jeez. Oh, well, there goes the wall. Dang. Ah, uh, something tells me I'm not supposed to be back here. Probably not. That's fine. It's whatever. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody watching. This is my dream. I'm in control of my dream. Nobody else. I don't care what Somnusculpt says. My dream. Okay. You know what? Maybe Somnusculpt should be in control of my dream. <gasps> Finally, I'm awake. 3 a.m. But something tells me I'm still not awake. I happened. Dream soda. soda. What is this? Let me go to the other side and see it. Find some term service that... How to start it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Taking these sodas with me. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Interesting. It's all an illusion. All an illusion. I'm gonna go the other way, see what's over there. No. Oh, just a brick wall, that's it. Why can't I grab the exit signs? Why do they all just loop around? Like, what, what's up with that? Yeah, just so you know, the exit's this way. Starcon. The Staircon. The proper flooding support. Pitch lines for your pitch lines. Advances. Advanced. Advances in railing design. Getting stairs for your stairs. It's curved for the new straight. Know your nosing. 
the National Stair Builders Association. Interesting. Now this is gonna start a conversation piece on stairs. I wanna attend that Staircon. What is this? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Don't care. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Thanks, I guess. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Mine. Ooh, parkour. Like it. I'm gonna take this with me. Never know when you need it next. This is obviously something I need to solve, right? Oh, there goes the exit door. That wasn't even a real exit door. Too sure if I like this. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Well, that's helpful. Aha! I got it. That, and then jump. Oh, come on. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Jump. And then. Go over here. And then. We can. Watch it align. Grab the piece. Then. Then what? Oh, snap. Okay, well, I'll go that way later. I want to go up here first. Is there anything back here? No. It's a regular cube. Cool. Just grab that. Okay, this needs to be a little bit bigger. And grab the chest piece. Bam! There it is. That's how it's done. Take this cube with me. I'll need to not have it be allowed past the... Okay, well that's whatever. That freaking blows. Imagine just seeing that in real life. Just a giant... Dice falling down on the entire city. You've got to be kidding me. I can't even go on top of the crane. That blows. What do you have for me this time, Glenn Pierce? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. Obviously. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Not. Yeah, you forgot the word not at the end of that sentence. Yeah? Where's the elevator, huh? It's not even here. You're lying to me. I can grab the moon? Oh my god. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, 
If you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Um. Okay. It's just an illusion created by this disco ball. I will not stand for it. Can I grab the cheese through this small little crack? I can. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm going back down. There's nothing up here for me. Where's the moon? Where did I put the moon? <sighs> Fucking polywana voice cracker, huh? Ah, there's the elevators. Cool. That doesn't look like an elevator. Sure. God, this is trippy. Oh, this is the elevator, alright. It is now 4 a.m. And we are in the same... Sweet. Great. This is this is fantastic. Can I get some more red soda? Can I get green soda? Water soda? Baking soda? Random soda? God, no wonder this company went out of business. If I shake it like an actual can, does it this explode? This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Okay. Curators only. What is this? wiring diagram for the schema electric okay. perception as reality your friendly doctor PS will get through this and it is apparently March of 1991 nice oh great well I mean this isn't too bad certainly had happened Worse. Here we are. Uh, okay. Do I go down there? It's over here. Is there anything important? No, oh, can't even go that way. Can I pull down the fire alarm? Yeah. Nothing happens though, so. Can I take this with me? Oh, well, that's scary. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Slidey boys. Can I just use this to get up? I can. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. I'll try. I'm not a man that sticks to my promise, though. Gotta say, this is some very chilling music for uh uneasy situation. Hey, chess piece. Okay. Thanks for that. Alright. What's the quirk of this dice? There's an entire room in it. That's the quirk. Huh? 
elevator again. Feeling lucky? No, absolutely not. I want this as my loading screen. Oh, I can actually turn it off. That, I did not know. Why is the radar even here this time? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? It didn't give me my mini soda. I'm pissed. I got baking soda though, so... That's great. Emergency generator this way. Road closed. Detour. <laughs> Can I open this? No. Probably not. Fix your lights, mate. Hmm. There's jars. There's also another jar. There's these things. Okay, well, I guess there's no going back now. <laughs> we got Monday, murder. Tuesday, murder. Wednesday, murder. Thursday, murder. Friday, murder. Saturday, murder. <laughs> Sunday, beans. Yep. If your schedule does not look like that, you are not my friend. I'm kidding. If your schedule does look like that, you're not my friend. I'm, I'm not friends with murders. I just saw blood. Hello? What is going on in this dream? It's not no dream anymore, it's a nightmare. Okay, now I'm stuck in an infinite wormhole. What do I do? Oh, I see. Oh my god, am I supposed to jump there? I am supposed to jump, aren't I? Get me out of here. There we go. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Friggin' chess piece all along. Is this. Am I gonna fight a boss now? Ah, stairs. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Thanks. Makes me feel a lot better about myself. Oh, I can't take that outside. Mmm, I see. Oh god, boxes.
I need water soda. No, no service ever. Well, at least you're honest. Now what? Something that I'm missing? Ah, I see. Okay. So I go up these. Whoa. Whoa. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. So this is what self-doubt and worthlessness feels like? And we're going to never doubt myself again. Idea. That was the most anticlimactic generator ever. And it works though. Hey, we got daylight. Still uneasy about the blood stains of the carpet though. Meaning and brain waves. Oh, symbolic meaning and brain waves. <gasps> Beans! I'm taking that. And this is just red paint all along. Cool. And they never finish painting the walls. Great. Taking Faith's beans with me. What the f- Is this how to build a nuclear bo- Oh, that's projection. Eggshell. Symmetry laid with Z clipping. This must have been- The beans are coming with me, I don't care what you say. Enjoy avocados. I should've probably got avocados instead, but it's fine. 6 a.m. I don't remember buying these many alarm clocks. It's bound to get annoying. Oh my god, you have to snooze them individually. <laughs> Screw your roar. You don't need it. Oh, why are they bolted to the ground like that? I'm gonna get my soda that I got from earlier. Finally, something that's useful. Alright, actually, you know what? This door. This door will do. One. There's nothing on these channels. How small can I get them? And then knock them over. I can't even do that. That's boring. That's fine. Okay. I made a little staircase for me to go up, so. What is this? This is the movie set for The Living Island? Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative, hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways, 
and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Right click to return. Oh no, that's I needed that. Okay. There's my first staircase. Okay, that'll do. Bam. Wait a minute. I don't even have to use the apples, don't I? I can just use these T-bars. Haha! -ha! I figured it out. I'm a genius. I don't even need to use the apples. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. Just did. It would not make sense regardless. Sleep clinic. And it's crossed out and has gallery on it. Hmm. Let me get up there. These sky boxes, I'm done with them. Neuro morality. Interesting. We got another whiteboard. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant up. errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Thanks. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Can... Uh, hello? Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho! No, you loaded too much. 7 a.m. Relaxation room. Okay. I guess I have no choice. Well, this is relaxing, all right. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Thank God. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Mmm. -hmm. Is this my house? Maybe I need to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. I did not know that would actually work, but... Your vending machines are a freaking scam. I don't know why I keep trying. Okay, I don't need to go that way. I need to go this way. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I actually do need to go outside. I think it's a little bit bigger. Here we go.
I don't like that. Wait, hold on. Is there anything behind that door frame? No. Okay. Sorry, I'm just interested in looking for secrets. Secret rooms, I guess. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. That was scary. I don't know what's in these rooms. They look small. You know what? I can probably just walk through, right? Oh, that's way too big. There we go. I probably should not have made that too big. Oh boy, that's trippy. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Okay. And that is a good quote, I will admit. Balance. Balance. Okay, cool. Only for me to realize that this... In. Wait, does the actual scale of the castle affect the entire size of this room? Okay, well, back in we go. Wait, hold on, I have a idea. Maybe. We're able to do this. <laughs> and then jump up here. And then at the castle. B. Okay, well, first of all, it's too close to my face. Get it away. And then, let's see, let's do that, and then balance the castle on that board. And then, oh god, <laughs> god, since I'm small now, this is going to be a long walk. Perfect. I feel like I'm a mouse. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you 
for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. You're welcome. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Where did I just come from? I go into the larger one to get small, right? Yep. Okay. Boom! There we go. Can I play chess? I feel like I'm in like some rat tattooey crime right now. What's behind this chest? Is the elevator once again 8 a.m. Imagine like the elevator breaks. Yep, 8 a.m. Oh, I know it's 3 a.m. again. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in. 10, 9, 8, error, error logged by, orientation protocol, stand by for analysis, you gotta be kidding error me. analysis complete, you are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness and frustration, this is inconceivable as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions, Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Wait, so you're saying I'm stuck here forever? You're saying this entire game is now a wormhole. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, what? Um, okay. Hold on, I'm trying to get a grasp of this camera real quick. What the f- Hello? Oh my god. Uh. Wow, I'm truly stuck here forever, aren't I? Think I found it. Just need to make this a little bit bigger. Dr. Glenn Pierce, 
Thank you for completing the Somnuscult Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. What would that be? Okay. What was that? The gravity just shifted. That's what happened. Interesting. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Oh, this is fantastic. Ah. Uh, ah. He just stares here. No. Um. See, now you're talking to my music. is reality no trespassing stop dead end okay not going that way then nope. this way maybe mm. okay hall number five. Oh snap Finally, something different. I've been stuck on that for way too goddamn long. Hmm. Swim with the fishies. That's what I want to do. Well, it's not a fish, it's a duck, but I guess it's the same thing. Same thing. I don't often walk on it. Can I cleanse? No. Where did my cube go? The hell? Ah, oh, there it is. to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanism. Well, that's fun. We're here now. <gasps> the elevator. No, it's just a setup. Dang it. Um. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Up. Okay. Oh no, not this again. 
Uh, mm, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. And now follow the arrows. Haha! Found it. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Okay. Okay. Please let me wake up. Are you gonna close the elevator? What kind of liminal space is this? Never seen anything like it. My God. Typical Walmart parking lot. These are all walls. Okay, for except except for this direction. That seems like an actual never mind. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? What kind of sweet is this? What kind of operation are you running here? This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Cool. Now what do I do? Do I just finish assembling this wall? Order soda. I thought that would help me. Oh, what is this? Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. state, state. There's a giant big sauna sculpt in the middle of the room. Hold on. I'm trying to make this small enough again. See if I can. Just fit that back in there. There we go. Now, could I go through here? Trophy Tonys. What's this? I like this music. I don't know why. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention Pro protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Thank you. I think I'm truly breaking reality here, because I can see underneath these boxes. I mean, quite frankly, I shouldn't be able to. What's the white light? I'm going to it. What is it? No, I'm too big. Oh. Okay. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. overload. May result. Please paradox overload.
finally waking up. something hello my name is dr glenn pierce and many years ago i had a dream i found myself in a place where i understood that each of us begins as nothing where everything i perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way i wanted to white space ah So, like, um, can I wake up? I'll take that as a nap. You raised me. Raxia. Minerals. Female toads. Okay. This is getting it. Fix your lights. They don't need to be buzzing like that. This is a cabinet. I don't know if there's anything special here. This looks like it'll... This looks like a hole in the wall. Do I go through here? Oh, yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm a clever one. Bye, y'all. I'm out. Well, maybe. Come on, let me up there. What do I do? Ooh, okay, I see. Kind of. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Bruh, I just want to wake up. I don't think I should have done that. Oh, wait a minute. I see. Yeah, I just want to wake up.
Okay, what do I have to do? Hang on. Is there a clue in any of these windows? Please say there is, so... Okay, blue... Oh, okay. That, 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 that can happen too, I guess. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Okay, screw this, I'm walking around it. I can't even do that. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. The chest pieces... Chest pieces make the tile solid. Is that big enough for you? Now let me reach the door. <sighs> Come on, where do I go down here? What am I gonna find? Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Again and again and again. And there 
then, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. This room. Hated it. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. Well, yeah, I'm awake now.
Well, that was super liminal. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And, uh, dreaming with me. So. Yeah, um. Have fun doing literally anything else. Bye. Thank you.